nothing with you is basic, but what is the power of thought? Because we talk about this all the time, this in personal development today, everyone's talking about, you know, you got to control your thoughts and control mm -hmm. your habits and all these things. And there's a baseline message about that. But you're the best in the world at explaining exactly why this is so important. So give us some background there. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if we, everything starts with a thought. I mean, mm -hmm. everything that you do in your life, you, you have to have a thought before you initiate an action, right? So. Mm -hmm. So if you believe that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny, like any great leader in history understands that, uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to decide, are you going to be defined by a vision of the future mm -hmm. or are you going to live by the memories of the past? Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example. Most people wake up in the morning and your brain is a record of the past. It's an artifact of everything you've learned and experienced to this moment, right? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a memory bank. So most people wake up in the morning and they start thinking about their problems and those problems are connected to certain people and things at certain times and places. And the moment they start, start turning on those circuits, those memories are actually causing them to think in mm. the past. Mm. Every single one of those memories has an emotion associated with them and emotions are the end product of past experiences. So then the moment they recall the event or they, the, they recall some problem in their life, they start feeling unhappy, they start feeling discouraged, they start feeling anxious. Mm -hmm. Now thoughts are the uh, language of the brain and feelings are the language of the body and how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. So we could say then, mm -hmm. most people's entire state of being when they start their day is in the familiar past. Well, if you live in the familiar past, then it makes sense you're gonna create the predictable future.